but today we'll learn overriding methods with inheritance in Java. So first I'll click create a class, pop a class thought. Create a mes uh, method, public void message. And we'll system dot out dot print ln. Just a message. Just print a, a line. We'll save it. Then we'll go to a class called Advice. We've already created the class. So we'll pull a class Advice. Use the extends keyword and we'll extend the thought class that we just made. We'll create another me method called message. System dot out dot print line a message to the user. System dot out of print line. And then we'll use a super keyword to call the message method in the parent class. We do that by using the dot operator with the super keyword. Followed by the method that we want to invoke. So this invokes parent's version of message method. Save it. Don't go to the main method. Public class main. Oops. Command line. Public static void main. String array args. And we'll create an object. Type thought. Call it part equals new thought. So we created a object of the class thought that we just made. Then we'll create another object of the advice class. dates equals new advice then we'll 
say we'll use the part object that we created to call the message method of the thought class so this is the parent this is the child class parent or super class child or subclass so when we call part dot message we're calling the message method from the thought class which is the parent class then now we'll use the dates object to call the message method from the advice class and this method is overrated Save and run. So here, it printed out our message. So we called part dot message. So in the thought class, the parent class or the super class, we called this method, the message method from the thought object. Sorry, the part object of the thought class we called the message, we invoked the method called message of the parent class and it printed out this statement. I feel like I'm diagonally parked in a parallel universe and that's what we wrote here. Then it printed a new line. Then we called the dates object and we use that to invoke the message method of the advice class which we call which it printed out morning dates and calendar are closer than they appear just kidding a space for print line a new line and then we call, we use the super keyword to call the message of the parent class, which is this class. And it called, it, it wrote this line again here, because that's what we wanted it to do, is invoke this version of the method message. Hope it helps. Thanks.